The SEC is said to have been defeated, as it has agreed with XRP. This would consequently result in the XRP price skyrocketing to $25 or higher. But what's the truth behind this issue? That's what you're going to find out here in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Welcome to Crypto Live. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. The Securities and Exchange Commission investigated XRP back on June 13, 2018, and did not conclude that it was a security. This was reported by Fox business producer and journalist Eleanor Tourette in a recent tweet. The incident occurred before William Hinman's famous speech about Ripple XRP, and he is the former head of the SEC's Department of Corporate Finance. But in his speech, Hinman stated that XRP was a security. According to Tourette, this information could have been given to him by John Deaton, founder of Crypto Law US. Having reflected on what could have changed in the two years since then, the journalist wonders what has changed. In December 2020, the SEC chairman filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs and two of its senior executives. The founder of Ripple, Chris Larson, along with the current head of the company, Brad Garlinghouse. So as a well-known issue in the crypto industry, a complaint by the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, alleges that XRP is unregistered security and that these parties sold it to institutional investors. On these unauthorized sales, they received more than $1.3 billion, specifically from Larson and Garlinghouse. In the following weeks, Jay Clayton resigned as the chief executive officer of the regulatory body, with Gary Gensler as his successor. Moreover, trading for XRP was suspended immediately following the court case on some of the world's largest crypto exchanges, including Coinbase, Binance US, Bittrex, and Bitstamp. And this has resulted in the price of the coin plummeting. The SEC legal team and Chris Larson's legal team both gained a small but important victories during the trial. However, one lawyer has already left both teams. As an attorney who's monitoring the lawsuit and posting his comments on Twitter, attorney Jeremy Hogan expects there will be a resolution to the legal issues between the SEC and Ripple by April 22. In addition to this, Brad Garlinghouse expressed hope to close the case by the year 2022 in one of his recent interviews. Jake Travinsky, head of policy for the Blockchain Association in the U.S., said recently that Ripple is giving the SEC the toughest fight of their careers. This is opposed to merely agreeing to a peaceful agreement like other crypto companies with whom the agency has already filed lawsuits, including Tesla's CEO Elon Musk. With this, we can expect that an over-a-year-long lawsuit filed by the SEC ended with a small win for Ripple. Despite a federal judge's orders, Ripple was still denied access to the SEC's email, which Ripple believes will be helpful to their case. Then, during a recent legal battle with the SEC, Ripple gained an important victory. The decision in this case was made by the U.S. Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn because the emails related to the speech of a high-ranking Ethereum member. This means that, according to the Commission, they are not protected by the privilege of deliberation in 2018. The then-director of the Securities and Exchange Commission's Corporate Finance Department, William Hinman, informed the attendees of the Yahoo Finance Crypto Summit that Ethereum, a cryptocurrency similar to Ripple XRP, was not a security. Moreover, he said the token is well decentralized. There has been controversy surrounding this speech in a year-long lawsuit during which the SEC alleged that Ripple and its co-founders knew XRP was a security that had to be registered with the SEC. However, they sold it anyway, without following due process. As part of Ripple's efforts, we sought to shed light on how the regulatory body decided that Ethereum does not qualify as a security. This is also an attempt to prove that XRP was not also a security and identify any contradictions in their lawsuit against them. In the case, the judge ruled on documents prepared by Valerie Schepanek, executive director of the Commission's Department for Innovation and Financial Technology, that pertain to various internal discussions of the Commission. Also included are letters Hinman wrote to other members of the SEC regarding a controversial speech. 
Judge Sarah Netburn explained that her decision was based on the fact that the documents contained no indication of significant connections in the discussion process and was therefore ineligible for confidentiality. Despite it being a small achievement, the decision is the result of the Ripple team's perseverance, which was pushed for several months before the final decision was reached. And for many who had faced similar claims from the SEC, Ripple's position stood in opposition to what seemed to be the norm. To resolve the dispute outside of court, the team decided to take the SEC to court face-to-face. In light of the SEC's actions, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said the crypto industry as a whole is offended. The lawsuit filed in late 2020 reduced XRP's value by over half and made it the third biggest cryptocurrency in the world after Bitcoin and Ethereum. Additionally, there is a lot at stake for both parties in this lawsuit, and therefore many market participants are watching for the verdict. As a result, the prices of bitcoins and cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, BNB Finance, Solana Cardano, and XRP have fallen dramatically, wiping almost $200 billion off the combined cryptocurrency market in just 24 hours. John Deaton, the attorney representing more than 50,000 XRP holders who've been granted amicus curiae status in the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit, plans to use this status to submit a FOIA request regarding SEC documents the judge ruled are not protected by deliberative process, privilege, or DPP. Ripple's lawyer has taken to Twitter to explain how the ruling, which was reported as being mixed, may actually be a resounding victory for Ripple. The biggest victory for Ripple and XRP holders from Judge Netburn's recent decision isn't necessarily the email with the draft version of the Hinman speech. The most significant victory could prove to be the notes from meetings with third parties not associated with Ripple. According to Deaton, those third parties will most likely be Joseph Lubin from Ethereum and an executive from Consensus, who met with Hinman and others, as well as VC Working Group, which is a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. These notes are no doubt from the above meetings. Judge Netburn ruled the SEC can still invoke attorney-client privilege regarding the personal notes memo by Valerie Japanik and others, but if the notes contain statements made by the people at the meetings, it's not privileged. Then, based on Judge Netburn's findings, the meeting doesn't fall under the DPP. John Deaton has decided that XRP holders will be filing a new FOIA request to find out what happened in those meetings and whether XRP, Ether, and BTC were mentioned. According to Judge Sarah Netburn, in an opinion published recently, the precedent-setting case and tremendous public interest would support the public release of many of the documents the SEC sought to keep out of the public domain. In Seriousness of Litigation and Issues Involved, The court states that it has expressly found that this case is unique, that the nature of the case involves significant policy decisions in our markets, and that the amount in controversy also is substantial, and that the public's interest in the resolution of this case is also quite significant. Some of the documents at issue go to the heart of the public's interest in the case. The court agrees with defendants that the consequential nature of the litigation supports disclosure, As discussed below, however, the significance of the issues in this case cuts both ways. SEC employees need to be able to deliberate unsettled law in an emerging market without fearing that their communications will be subject to public scrutiny. On balance, this factor, therefore, weighs slightly, but not strongly, in favor of disclosure. With this becoming clear, I am confident that XRP will win the lawsuit filed by the SEC. What kind of price predictions can we expect for the coin in 2022 and beyond? Coin Codex's technical analysis was bearish on the 17th of January, since there were five bullish indicators compared to 25 bearish indicators. Then, Coin Codex's short-term forecast for XRP was bearish, predicting a further decline of 63 cents within the next two weeks. According to the algorithm-based site Wallet Investor, Ripple's average price could rise to $1.30 in a year and $3.50 in five years. Furthermore, in its XRP forecast for 2022, Digital Coin projects that the price will average $1.04 for 2018 and $1.60 in 2025. And in 2028, 
the expected price of XRP will be $2.73. In the long run, Price Prediction's XRP price analysis forecast that the coin would average $3.75 in 2025 and $25 by 2030. That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.